in Ontario. Um, okay. So I've been, a, I started off a student in London, now a resident. So I've been in London almost um, 20 years. I'm an RN, a registered nurse here in London, as well as a registered holistic nutritionist. I have a background in both conventional medicine as well as the holistic approach. And I understand both the science as well as the emotional connection to the body. And I understand about proper PPE and when is the appropriate time to wear it and when is not. I co-founded a business called Sweaty Successful Moms alongside two very strong, intelligent and empowered women. As mom as ourselves to young children, we are passionate about raising happy, healthy, free thinking children. Our mission is to grow a community that believes in raising leaders that are wholeheartedly connected to the earth. This mission seems stronger and more important than ever. The further we move away from nature, the more complications there are to be had. We are also seeing a breakdown and divide in community. We cannot raise leaders when we are raising them in fear, fear of each other, fear of the world, fear of an illness, viruses, even the air we breathe and the things we touch. We're teaching them to fear everything. What is the psycholo psychological and long-term trauma this is creating when they put a mask on themselves and when they are surrounded by their caretakers and loved ones wearing masks, as well as the general public. This does not create resiliency, but weakness. This does not keep their immune systems active and healthy. Instead, it suppresses it. We're taking away joy of play and being kids, instead replacing it with depression, behavioral issues, physical regression, and weakened immune systems. Community is breaking down. The divide amongst us has never been greater. Neighbors are turning against one another. This is not the world I envisioned for my boys. We're made up of more bacteria and viruses in our microbiome than we are of human cells. Basically, we are walking bacteria. If we fear viruses and bacteria, we fear ourselves and our own bodies. Masks are a strong factor in this as many doctors have voiced their concerns of the lack of science that back wearing masks. The studies show increase in respiratory illnesses by 13%. We're breathing in bacteria in our mouths and the masks do not prevent small particulates from coming and going. We're breathing in microplastics, fibers, and chemicals. We're increasing anxiety when we put, that put us in a fight or flight response. It increases our cortisol levels and it creates the perfect storm for illness, creating a weak and sick society. No longer are we empowering health or immune systems, movement, mindset, or real food, vitamins. We're removing sovereignty over our bodies and replacing it in the hands of someone else. This should terrify you when we no longer have rights over our own bodies and our children's. What is this doing to our children? What is it teaching them? What is the future generation we are raising? Definitely not leaders wholeheartedly connected to the earth. Humans thrive on connection, interaction, love, compassion. Our children not only thrive in this environment, it is essential for their growth and development and their foundation. We're instilling fear purposefully and subconsciously onto them. We're replacing promotion of good bacteria with over sterilized chemicals, over sterilized areas, chemically laden environments with hand sanitizers, obsessive cleaning, bleach, disinfectants, etc. These are toxic endocrine disruptors and carcinogenic. It kills the microbiome, killing all bacteria living amongst our systems, and it continues to weaken and expose us to what might be out there. We're pitting our children against one another, and I've seen this happen in real life, and we're creating fear of their own bodies. Our children are getting sicker each year, more immunocompromised, more autoimmune diseases, more allergies, more infections, and more behavioral issues. London has always thrived on communities supporting local and healthy living. It's what it keeps attracting me to this city. However, this was taken away from us with the lockdowns as we are forced to isolate and businesses closed. The heart of London is suffering. We can do better. We should be an example to the rest of Ontario, for the rest of Canada, heck, even the world. We need community. We need hugs, smiles, laughter, joy, connection. With community also comes security and safety, peace and well-being, strong bodies and minds, and strong immune systems. 30 seconds. Our kids needs this the most. Fear only creates disease. It doesn't prevent us from dying. It prevents us from living. This is being driven with flawed PCR testing with high rates of false positives and lack of understanding of viruses, germ theory versus trained theory, our immune systems and mental emotional connection to health, and clearly the lack of understanding on how to promote health and well-being. Cases do not equal infection. Asymptomatic people are not threats or carriers. They're healthy people, period. 
We need to be an example of Ontario and the rest of the world. We will not let fear win. We Thank will you. now move forward with love.